Good morning. This is Agashvani Gohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. In Karnataka, the campaigning for the ensuing assembly election reached its peak. The frontline leaders of different political parties are trying the level best to sway the voters in their favour. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday took up the second stretch of his road show in Bengaluru, governing five assembly constituencies. Before starting the road show, Modi offered a floral tribute to Bengaluru founder Kembe Gowda at New Tipa Sandra. Later addressing a public meeting at Shiva Moka, Prime Minister expressed gratitude towards the people of Bengaluru for turning up in huge numbers in his road. Senior Congress leaders Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi also campaigned in the state. Defence Minister Rajnat Singh has approved posting of women officers of the Territorial Army along the line of control. This progressive policy measure is aimed at enhancing the scope of employment of women officers as well as meeting their professional aspirations. They will now serve and train under the same conditions as the male counterparts in a wider range of units and appointments. The Territorial Army had commenced commissioning women officers since 2019 in Ecological Task Force units, TA Oil Sector units and TA Railway Engineer Regiment. Based on the experience gained during this period, it has been decided to extend the scope of further employment for women officers in TA. The Territorial Army is based on a citizen-soldiers army concept and officers undergo annual training on basic military skills while remaining employed in civilian life. The security personnel have been trying to restore normalcy in Manipur. There was no report of mob violence in the valley districts on Sunday. The security advisor to Manipur government, Kuldeep Singh, is presently in Imphal and monitoring the situation. Army helicopters have been pressed into aerial survey and public curfew was relaxed for a few hours in some selected districts yesterday. Evacuation of stranded people have been going on in full swing. In the trouble-hit district Churachanpu, around 5,500 stranded people are taking shelter in relief camps arranged by district administration and security forces while 1,500 have been evacuated under heavy security cover. Those who are stranded in valley districts have also been transported to their destination by the security forces. In the meantime, additional Secretary of Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Education, Dr. Vinit Joshi, has been appointed as the new Chief Secretary of Manipur yesterday. The 1992 batch IAS officer will assume the charge from Dr. Rajesh Kumar, who has been serving as Chief Secretary in six months extension mode. In the Asian Weightlifting Championship, India's weightlifter Jeremy Lalring Nunga won silver in snatch at Jinju, Korea on Sunday. The 20-year-old won a silver medal in the snatch event with a lift of 141 kilogram in the 67 kilogram weight class. However, he could not get an overall total as he failed to lift the weight in any of his three clean and jerk attempts in a disappointing show at the championships. Competing in his first tournament since winning the gold at 2022 Commonwealth Games, Jeremy was the only one in the 12 lifter field who did not finish his event. China's He Yuji finished with a goal. The cyclonic circulation which developed on Saturday is laying over the southeast Bay of Bengal and adjoining the South Andaman Sea. Under its influence, a low pressure area is likely to form over the same region today. India Meteorological Department IMD said it is likely to intensify into a depression by Tuesday. Thereafter, it is likely to intensify into a cyclonic storm while moving nearly northwards towards the central Bay of Bengal and adjoining the North Andaman Sea. Fishermen, small ships, boats and trawlers are advised not to venture into the sea in southeast Bay of Bengal and adjoining areas of the Andaman Sea. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.